case you're curious, I get an iced coffee with vanilla and breve. I just had a feeling I would get asked that, so. For this week's No Makeup Monday, I did a poll as usual. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I usually do polls to figure out what video I'm going to be filming. I'm actually running a little low on ideas here, guys. I mean, not, I have like three ideas left, and then after that, I'm going to need your help. Actually, in all reality, you really should just tell me now down below. My next two weeks worth are going to be kind of controversial, and I do always do this. I always pick serious topics, story times, controversial things, but if you like them, I'll keep doing them. This week is less controversial. Next week will be a little bit more because I'm going to talk more about my atheism and all of that because I want to do more atheist videos but this week we're talking about videos I regret posting now the videos I'm gonna talk to you there's three I'm sure there's more because I have how many videos on my channel I almost have 800 videos on my channel and I purposefully leave up all of my videos because I think it's important to not only see where I've come from and like how I've grown I think it's so cool that I am able to do that as a youtuber but also acknowledge my mistakes or videos that I posted that maybe weren't thought through enough or making statements in videos that I didn't think about two of these videos are very old uh, one is somewhat recent well the most recent regret I guess you could say is my awkward boy stories video I was very insensitive on one of the stories and I apologize I changed the title I can't change the video at this point that video wasn't planned to be discussed in this video but I guess we can talk about it but basically I put my my ex died on the thumbnail and it's now changed because a lot of people thought that it was insensitive and it was and I'm the first person to admit when I'm wrong especially publicly like I just think being defensive on the internet looks really really bad and I'm not gonna lie I've had knee-jerk reactions where I do get defensive and I think that's completely human and normal but I leave up these videos and I want to acknowledge my mistakes because I am only human but I will be the first one to apologize apologize for it and admit when I'm wrong and that's what I'm gonna kind of do today. So that was one of the things that I regretted was that thumbnail, not so much the video in itself. The video was meant to be awkward boy stories and the last one I told in that is when a boy that I dated died and now that wasn't the part that I titled awkward. I even said that in the video that's not the awkward part, that's just the conclusion of that story. What was awkward for me was the way I broke up with him so I just wanted to put that out there. I do completely regret though the thumbnail and the insensitivity to that and his family and like I wouldn't want that to come across in that way because it was very sad for me at the time. Now we'll go on to the second video that I regret posting and it's not so much the whole video it's one comment in particular towards the end of the video I believe it was a q and I'll link the videos by the way down below if you want to see them in action which you know this is it's hard for me to come on here and be like, look at my mistakes. So this was in a past q and I don't remember how long ago it was, a year or two ago, I'm not sure. Basically, I said, I think the title is also, I'm not a feminist. And now, this one is hard because I meant, I don't even know where to start, okay. I am a feminist. I'm a hardcore feminist. If you know me in person, huge feminist and I completely identify as that now. In the video I had said that I'm not a feminist, I'm a humanist, which is essentially the same exact thing. I mean I go a little beyond that to say that I'm an intersectional feminist, but that's like a whole nother topic. But basically I just believe that every single human being on this earth deserves the same exact rights as every other person in the world. That's my beliefs, my standpoint. I don't believe one sex is superior than the other, I don't believe one race is superior than the other, not one culture, one religion, nothing. And I I genuinely just want equality for every single person in this world. It includes every sexuality, every culture, every race, every religion, every person. That video kind of brought up a little bit of controversy because I had stated the words I'm not a feminist but that's not what I meant in that video but it did come across that way and I'm sorry I'm definitely a feminist if you know me. Video number three is the Insane Asylum escapee makeup video tutorial Halloween tutorial. This one I regret for obvious reasons. I am completely, and I'm going to talk about this because I did a video on glamorization of mental illness, which I will link down below. And that basically ties into my mental illness merch rant. We'll also link that down below. But I'm also going to be doing an exploitation of mental illness video in that kind of trilogy, make it a trilogy kind of thing. Because I see all the time mental illness being exploited for entertainment value, and this includes movies, TV shows, and I have a bunch of examples that I'm going to 
do in that video, but I am one of those examples. I am completely calling myself out here, using myself to paint a picture that this is wrong. This was four years ago, and I'm not saying that that is ex makes it excusable by any means. I did what I did, I exploited mental illness, I acted as if I was like a crazy person in an insane asylum, which is very insensitive. And I think now that I've gone through so much education, I think I was studying fashion at that time. Not that I, that's an excuse either, it's not. But now that I've gone through so much education in the psychology world, it's just that is not acceptable. And I do regret posting that video. I may take it down one day just because it's embarrassing because I preach here about exploiting mental illness and glamorization of mental illness and all this stuff and that it's not cute and you shouldn't strive to be that or like anything like that. If you watch my other videos, I say it much better in those videos. But I did it. I I did that and I completely regret doing that. It's not it's not cool and it shouldn't have been a Halloween costume. I was actually that for Halloween that year and it's stupid. Don't do it. And the last video I'm going to talk about, I mean there's probably a million other videos I've said things that I regret, I just don't remember. This one though comes to mind. I think this was in 2011 maybe, 2010, I don't know. It was a long time ago. I've been doing YouTube for six years. This one I think is probably the most embarrassing for me given who I am as a person and I hope that when you hear it, it doesn't discredit me by any means because I have grown so much as a person in those six years. I really don't want this to like change your opinion of me. I made an idiotic comment in this one outfit of the day or was it lookbook? I don't know. I was showing you guys what I was wearing and I said something like I don't like to wear flannels with Doc Martens because I don't want to look lesbianish. I can't even, that was hard for me to say, really hard. I can't believe that those words came out of my mouth as an activist in the LGBT community when I'm not even a part of that community. I've just been an activist for that community for years. Being president of the GSA in my high school, I'm just surprised that editing Sarah later didn't see that and edit it out, <laughs> let alone the fact I ever said those words. It's completely insensitive and stupid and I apologize for anybody who's seen that or like has, you know, hurt them in any way. I am not that person anymore. I just want you guys to know that that is a complete regret of mine and we all say stupid things, I'm sure. I would never say something like that nowadays and the fact I did at one point is disgusting. So I hope you guys can forgive me for these stupid, stupid videos or like stupid comments that I made that I wasn't thinking. It's really hard when you're on the internet and you say dumb things because then it's there forever. These are up there and I haven't taken them down because I want to show that it's human, I'm human, and I say stupid things, and it's embarrassing, but here I am calling myself out for it. This might have been a very strange video for me to do, but I think it's really important, and I encourage other YouTubers to maybe do this as well, but I see a lot of other YouTubers when they do these kind of things, or they regret posting videos, they just private them or delete them. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, please leave me some recommendations for future No Makeup Mondays down below. If you find any other stupid comments on my videos that you thought were offensive or ignorant, anything like that, like that, leave them in the comments and I can acknowledge them. <laughs> because I think that's healthy as a human to acknowledge it and admit that we're wrong. And I hope this encourages you to admit when you're wrong more often because it's one of the most difficult things as humans that we have to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking beauty. I don't want to mislead you guys and think because of my last get ready with me and all the comments I made in it about me not being a beauty channel and all that. I don't want you to think that I'm going to stop completely doing beauty videos. Basically all I meant by those comments were that I wanted to incorporate a lot more videos onto my channel and kind of become less of a beauty